This is the Eclipse 9400 WC permanent 2-inch automatic flushing device for warm climates. It provides excellent above-grade adjustable flushing velocities up to 150 gallons per minute. It features a diffusion plate and is housed in a UV-resistant lockable enclosure. The 2-inch solenoid-operated adjustable diaphragm valve opens and closes slowly to avoid water hammer. The 9-volt battery handheld controller allows users to program multiple daytime duration flushing sequences. It includes a built-in sampling point with petcock and has a 2-inch FIP inlet. A custom declore basket for tablets is also available. The handheld controller can be programmed for up to 12 flushing cycles per day with a maximum of 6 hours per cycle. Or a manual flush can be performed as we will demonstrate here. As you can see, water flushes inside the enclosure and discharges through the evacuation holes in the bottom of the enclosure onto a diffusion plate and into the ground. Flow can be adjusted above ground by turning the flow dial on the front of the valve. As you can see, the solenoid operated diaphragm valve automatically opens and closes slowly to avoid water hammer issues. Occasionally, debris will get caught in the diaphragm inside the valve. When this happens, the unit will not close completely and may trickle water. To do maintenance on the Eclipse 9400 WC, first shut the water off to isolate the unit. Loosen the quick disconnect arms of the flushing arm support. Remove the entire valve assembly and take back to the shop. To do maintenance on the valve, first unscrew the solenoid from the valve. Next, unscrew the bolts on the valve face. Open the valve carefully and remove any debris around the outer ring. Then remove the diaphragm and clean away any debris around the edge. Be sure also to clean any debris around the diaphragm seat inside the valve. Finally, using a common paper clip, clean out the hole in the solenoid opening. Once clean, reassemble the unit, making sure to line up the diaphragm tab with the seat. Cupferly recommends that you flush the line thoroughly before reassembling the unit in order to remove any additional debris. Reassemble the valve and replace the flushing assembly onto the quick disconnect housing and resecure. Now you can turn the water back onto the unit.